Cancer, hi. So um, this is gonna be a reading for May 17th through the 23rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cancer. The overall energy for the reading, the magician. Um, you're actually in full manifestor mode here. I'm not sure if you realize that. Um, manifestation goes both ways, so it's not only positive. You can also manifest negative things if your vibration is low. Yikes. Um, but yeah, we'll see what that's about. In the recent past, you get the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. This comes in as a missed opportunity kind of thing. Now, I don't know if it was or not in the end, but the first sight, the first feeling of this energy feels like that. Like walking away from something that could have potentially had some place good, basically. Uh, now, I don't know if that's you leaving a situation or avoiding something like this or somebody tied up to you. Um, in the current situation, you get the Seven of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Swords. There's a soul connection that shows up here. It feels like it's done. Um, I don't know if you want it to be done. There's that Seven of Wands over there that's kind of telling me that... Um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but it feels like a, a, a little bit of a push against this energy of the situation being done here. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Emperor. Okay. Somebody's making uh, things difficult here. I don't know if it's you or them, it's shown up as being them, but, um... There's this heavy energy that's showing up and somebody's just not letting that go. And I feel like they're creating that energy by not letting it go. Oh, let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Let me see the magician. Four of Wands, the Justice, the Two of Swords. Yeah, you want to bring something together or something back together. Um, however, you're carrying a lot of confusion, a lot of blockages when it comes to this. I feel like that's your goal in your manifestation. Like, please, please, please bring this back together. But deep down, you're very much scattered about this energy. Um, it's shown up as that being the clear intention. But you're carrying so much on top of that. And that's where the manifestation doesn't really go through. Um, let's see the Six of Swords here in the recent past. Because it feels like, yes, you're clear about that, but you may not be clear about um, the path to that direction of commitment or whatever it is you're seeking here. You know, um, you want the goal, you never figured out the steps, basically. The steps are kind of like all over the place and the universe is inviting you, okay, step onto those steps. And you're like, well, well one of them is over there. One of them, how, how should I step on it? Well, you created those steps. You can bring them close together so that you can um, build them up in a beautiful way towards your goal. So you're, Again, your, your goal is clear, the path to the goal seems a little shaky, a little all over the place. Six of Swords, you get the Six of Swords again, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords. There's a detachment here, there's definitely a detachment. There's a walking away from a situation and 
it feels like this detachment started a while back before the actual action took place, you know, before the actual walking away um, from a situation. Again, that does seem to carry potential here. Let me see that King of Pentacles. In the recent past. Okay, so that comes in as a soul connection where things were working out. I feel like things were good here. What the hell happened? <sighs> things were working out in a good way. It kind of feels like you two were coming from different aspects, different energies, where this person was more um, work focused, career focused, or whatever the case, and you may have been more towards the passionate aspect of things, or the other way around. There's definitely a difference in energies, but I don't see anything wrong with that, especially in this situation. You know, I see a match, I see two people working for the same goal. Somebody turned their back here, and I kind of get that this is you. Let's do the Seven of Wands in the current situation. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. If you walked away from something there, I feel like you're just now experiencing uh, either the loss of it or the regret, maybe thinking, oh my God, what did I do? I made the wrong choice or whatever the case. It's coming in with uh, an energy of regret here. You're coming in with an energy of regret. Uh, you don't wanna be feeling that, but I feel like it's there, you know? And it feels like you're trying to do something to get yourself out of it. Uh, could even be distracting yourself, which, not really the solution. Unfortunately, you would have to go through it. You know, whatever it is, however it's making you feel. Uh, if that's you, roles can be reversed. Man, the death card for the Six of Cups, you get the death card, the Hermit, the Ace of Cups. Deep down, you want a brand new beginning here. But I kind of get the sense that there's, you know, something was done there, something was over. Somebody walked away. And you're kind of living in this energy of, but I want to bring it back, you know? And again, ironically, it seems like you were the one that pulled away from this, um, which can happen, of course. Again, it's coming in as you experiencing this loss now even though the situation may have happened years ago. Months ago, years ago. Let's do the Ten of Swords. In the end, I feel like you are trying your best to create your independence. Wherever you are, whoever is attached to you, if there's anybody, there's the sense of independence that you've wanted from the get-go. Um, and I feel like you achieved it at some point where you were, you know, um, the most wanted person in town or, <laughs> uh, this comes with a sense of self-confidence that, uh, so, especially when it comes to the physical aspect, like looking in that mirror and being like, Hmm, look at me. Uh, you know, and I feel like at some point you achieved that. Yes. But there's a soul connection from your past that I feel like just now you're starting to experience the loss of it. Um, and for some reason, it's feeling like it happened a while ago, you know, not a month ago, uh, a while ago. There's almost a sense of regret. Um, let's do the Four of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Ten of Cups, the Strength card, the Hierophant. Well, at least you're figuring out exactly uh, the 
the energy that you want the your goal is starting to be very very clearly defined here and your goal is happiness uh, your goal is stability, happiness, um, family life, by the looks of it, possibly. Um, just make sure you're not really fixated on things turning out exactly like you picture them in that sense of let yourself loose a little bit, you know, because a lot of the times we manifest things, but we're so caught up in the way they should appear when they come to us that the universe sends sends it to us in different shapes and forms and we don't even recognize it it's the energy behind it all that you should be focusing on you know this happiness that you want to head towards because it's gonna come and hit you one day when you won't even know it you know a lot of people will miss it by the time they catch on uh it's never too late but for the ten of wands in the immediate future you get the star the seven of swords the ten of swords exactly when it is showing up you have the tendency to move away from it there's that sense of too good to be true uh, no i didn't want this um stepping into it from that place of failure that no this is you know it's never gonna happen for me. Um, you know, you're falling into two very different extremes. On the, on the one hand, you do want this happiness and you're very decided that, yes, this is what I want. On the other hand, there's the fear and everything. That's where this Two of Swords is coming in for your manifestation, you know? When the reading started, it started with, you're in a manifestor mode right now. You're carrying your goal, which is very, very, very determined. You're carrying your fears. And the universe is kind of looking at you like, you're like, universe, here, take it, bring it to me. And the universe is kind of like, what? What do you want? You know? Um, that's how you're showing up here in your immediate future, where you're very determined about the direction in which you want to go. You're carrying so much in that direction. Fear that the situation is not going to happen that if it does happen, they're gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. Who knows who's gonna walk away? Um, no, it's never gonna work out. That's making the process of manifestation very, very difficult. Not only for you, but for the universe as well. Let's do the emperor in the immediate future. Four of cups, queen of swords, eight of swords. It almost feels like you have a pattern for things in general, for people, for situations, for... So there's this pattern of, or this energy of a person that you want in your life, but if it's not exactly like that, you won't take it, and then you get confused, out of your mind confused, like, why is it, isn't it not working out? Why do I keep on attracting these things? Because you're manifesting them, you know? If you're too strict, again, in the manifestation process, what you're sending out to the universe, the universe is going to send you things. But you may not be able to see them because you're focused in this direction. And the universe is asking you to expand a little bit. Just think about the energy when you're manifesting. And then it'll come to you and you'll recognize it if you're expanded a little bit in your perception, basically. So open up to the possibilities of your manifestation looking a little bit different than what you would want, you know? Otherwise, you keep on coming back into the same patterns of confusion, putting yourself down, you know, I never get love, I never get this, I never get that. So, let's see what the universe has. Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Strength card. Okay, so I see you know the steps of healing, of learning about yourself, of maybe reading about a lot of things. How do you integrate all of those things? How do you assimilate? How do you heal? You know, how do you... Because I see the need to heal. I see you going out there, exploring, doing. Um, how do you work with them so that it shows up in your exterior world, in your life? 
change starts to show up there. You know, if you want to change inside, is it showing outside? Or is it just reading about things and not really integrating them? You know, um, I feel like that's your struggle right now. To take all the, this knowledge that you're finding and bam, apply it, you know? So that's what I have for you. Uh, hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.